Uh, so now let's talk about uh, a binomial. So I have a question which is um, saying find the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of so I have this expansion here. Now we want to find the coefficient of x squared. So how can you solve this question? So it is very important for us to know that eh, it is possible if I have 2 divided by 3 okay this can also be written as 2 times 3 raised to the power negative 1 okay now sometimes let's say we have uh, 3 or let's say x divided by y now to the power 2. So this can be also written as x times 1 over y squared. That's just okay. But if there is 1 on top, it can also be written as x, then we move 1, this is going to be negative 3, negative 2, sorry. So we have to write this in form of this using the principle I've given you meaning this can be written as in, this can be written as 1 plus x to the power 2 times 1 over 1 minus x to the power negative 3 now since here there is already to the power negative 3 for me to remove this negative when I'm removing 1 it's more like I have, let me give you another example. If I have this, negative 2, this can be written as x times 1 over y to the power negative 2. Okay? So initially, this is going to be x times y times negative 2 times negative 1. Because there is negative 1, now negative 1 and negative 1, they will cancel out, I will end up having this. So this is what is going to happen there. So here I'm going to have I'm going to have 1 plus x squared times this negative is going to disappear now 1 minus x to the power 3. Okay? Meaning the negative has disappeared. Now, we want to find the coefficient of x squared. So the best way to do this is just to expand this and that. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to put these ones here. Allow me to put 1 minus or 1 plus x to the power 2 and also 1 minus x to the power 3 here. Then I get rid of this. So this will be equal to I'll start now expanding this. This is the same as 1 times 1, I'll have 1. 1 times x, 1 times x, I'll have x. Then x times 1, I'll have plus x. x times x is x squared. Now how do we expand this? I'm going first to expand this in two ways. So I'm going to say x, 1 minus x. I'll say 1 minus x all the way raised to the power 2 times x minus e, times 1 minus x so let me first expand this then I'm going to do times e, this ok so I'm going to say 1 times 1 is 1 then 1 times x I'll end up having negative x then negative x times 1 I'll have negative x then negative x times negative x, I'll end up having positive x squared. Now this has to be multiplied by 1 minus x. Okay? So we'll continue from there. Then this can be simplified as x plus x is 2x. Then x squared is just alone. I'll put it there. Now I'll start. 1 times this. 1 times 1, I'll have 1. 
but before I do that I can first simplify this as well I say 1 negative x plus negative x minus x I'll have negative 2x plus x squared then 1 minus x now I can simplify better so I'm going to have 1 plus 2x plus x squared then here I'll have 1 I'll have this 1 times 1 is going to be 1 1 times okay I can even start with this I'll say 1 times 1 is a 1 which I've written already then 1 times negative 2x I'll have negative 2x then 1 times x squared I'll have x squared I'm done with this one let's go now to to x negative x times 1 is going to be negative x okay then negative x times negative 2x is going to be negative it's going to be positive now positive 3 ah positive 2 so it will be positive 2 x squared okay cool so negative x times now this is going to be negative x to the power 3 now we can simplify this and say this I'll just copy this part here the way it is 2x plus x squared now here 1 is alone I'll not add it to anything but I can clearly see that negative 2 and x can be added and I'll end up having negative 3x also this and that can be added I'll end up having plus 3x squared okay then this is also alone so I'll have x to the power 3 now after reaching at this point we are supposed to do times everything but now the issue is the question is asking us to find the coefficient of x squared so the coefficient of x squared you just check which numbers when, when we multiply they will give us x squared okay so I, I'll start I'll start with if I multiply 1 with this I'm going to get 3x squared so I'll put that one there so 1 times 3x squared I'm going to get 3x squared but I, I, let me put it here I'm going to get 3x squared because we are only interested in x to the power 2 that's why I'm doing this okay next we are going to to check which one when we do times anything from the first box or from the first brackets and the second brackets when I do times I need to get x squared if I do 2 times negative 3 I'll end up having 6x squared so if I do this times that I'm going to get negative 6x squared negative 6x squared what else again if I do this times that one it's, it's going to give me if I do this times that it's going to give me x squared we're not x to the power 3 we're not interested in that this one time that will just give me 2x we're not interested in that but again if I do this x times 1 I'm going to end up having plus x squared so these are the only x squared values we can get okay now if I add this I'm going to end up having 3 squared 3x squared minus 6x squared I'll have negative 3x squared plus x squared so this is going to give me negative 2x squared the coefficient is the number so in this case the coefficient is 2 negative 2 so the coefficient of x squared is equal to 2 so in this case the answer is 2 sometimes you may think of this after now expanding to this part let me just get rid of this but if you want to waste time if you want to waste time you can say 1 times everything here 2x times everything there again x squared times everything there 
that is if you want to waste time but anyway we don't have that time but sometimes what you can do is you know that this and this can give you x squared so since we are interested in, with the coefficient you just say 1 times 3 then plus okay now you come to which which else if i come to 2x 2x times this is going to give me x squared so i just get the coefficient so i'll say 2 times negative 3 negative 3 which i'm going to put it there plus the last one i think is this times that one so it's 1 times 1 1 times 1 so here i'll get 3 here i'll get plus negative 6 here i'll get plus 1 so still I'll end up having negative 2. That's my coefficient. So that is it for this question.